Now for this question, we're given that y equals x cubed multiplied by the natural log of x squared plus 2, where in fact x is greater than 0. And we've got a sketch of the curve here that's given, and we have a shaded region R that is bounded by the curve, the x-axis and the line x equals root 2. And we've got this table of values for y here. And we're asked to fill in the two values of y for x equals root 2 over 4 and 3 root 2 over 4, giving our answers to four decimal places. Well, you can see that I've inserted those there. All you've got to do is just substitute your values for x into your curve here and make sure you round them to four decimal places. And you should get those ones. But the next part of the question asks us to work out an approximation to this area R using the trapezium rule. And to use the trapezium rule, we divide the curve up into equal strips with equal width, and we use this rule here. The area is approximately equal to the width of a strip, that's this distance across here, divided by 2, and then you do the first height, okay, plus twice the sum of all the middle heights, and then plus the last height. And try and remember this method of working out the uh, trapezium rule, okay? I've written this formula in words because I generally find that it's a lot easier to work with. So we've got our table of values up here, and so therefore that area okay, the area R is going to be approximately, okay, equal to half the width of a strip, so we'll put half down. The width of a strip can clearly be seen from the table here. It's just going from naught to root 2 upon 4. It's always the same width. That width is root 2 upon 4. So we can put that in as root 2 over 4. Let's put that in brackets there. So we've done half the width of a strip, and now we need to multiply this by the first height. Well, the first height is in fact zero, as you can see in the table. I'm going to put it in though, just to show that uh, I've thought about that. And then it's plus twice the sum of the middle heights. So the middle heights will be this one, plus this one, plus this one, which are these three results in the table. So we've got 0.0, .0 333 3 3 plus 0.3240 and plus 1.3596 and then we've got to plus the last height okay this one here which you can see again from the table is 3.9210 so if you use your calculator to work this out okay it comes to 1.3001.57 and so on. And we're asked to give this answer to two decimal places, so if we do that, this is going to be simply 1.30 to two decimal places, 2dp. Okay? Now, it is actually worth mentioning at this point, not that it's asked in the question, but uh, sometimes you get questions which say, is this area R that we've worked out an overestimate or an underestimate for the true value of R? Well, we can see very clearly from this diagram that if we were to join up the tops of these sections here with a straight line, you'll notice that it's outside the curve. So we're working out the areas of these trapeziums, and clearly that's going to be greater than the true area R. So just a point in passing that you might be interested in for future questions. This is an overestimate of our value for R. And if you're unsure of the trapezium rule or any of these ideas, you can always go on my website. There's plenty of tutorials for the trapezium rule. Okay?